another episode of the movie series. East and the West, I'm racking up on my breath. Uh, power on me, I feel it just like a Tesla. Too much treat, the smoke is making my chest hurt. Girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her. Hey, I'm thinking I should arrest all night long. She putting me to the test. Got a lot on, I'm trying to take out the. Hello, rest. someone just had a nice coffee. Can you tell? Today is a good motherfucking day. And why is that, you may ask? It is because it is currently 19 degrees Celsius outside. If you wonder what that is in Fahrenheit, I think it's like a... Hmm, maybe like a 69. <laughs> This girl got a little bit too much energy. All right, all right, all right. Oh, you thought I was gonna flash you, didn't you? <laughs> Not on this channel, wrong website. <laughs> In the last vlog, I got my furniture and everything, but today we're gonna decorate, decorate. But I'm gonna try to do it on a budget because not gonna lie, I just checked my credit card statement for the first time in a minute and I literally wanted to shrivel up and disintegrate and throw myself into the Atlantic Ocean. But instead of doing that, I should probably just be better with my money. So we're gonna try to not spend any money because not gonna lie, I feel like shit about myself now because I realized how much money I spent and I was like talking to the spam account apparently y'all feel the same way too so like I feel a little less shit about myself but it's like I was like looking at the statement and I was like what do I spend my money on like I haven't really bought clothes or anything like that so what is it and then I was like looking and there was only like a couple big purchases that I remember like my couch and stuff but then I was like so what is it and then I realized oh you're telling me when I spend six dollars on iced coffee every single day that shit actually like adds up like i never do the math but my credit card statement does it for me i don't know anyways so today we're gonna be trying to ball on a budget as i have new clothes on the floor and the iced coffee sitting right here i probably could solve this by like not going out and buying coffee and making it but we're working and then i also bought a new workout set that i'm not allowed to wear until my ass is plump and juicy so that when i wear this the day that i decide that like my butt is good enough even though like we don't care you know what i mean like the butt is always good i'm always gonna be shaking bones but i'm gonna like leave this on the table in front of my bed so that every morning I wake up I look at this and I'm like Ugh, we have to work out so that the day that I wear this my butt looks so good and fly in this like it's gonna be an iconic moment the day that I take my sweats off at the gym not actually but like in my head it is oh my god I talk so much y'all came here for a house decorating video not a fucking rant on how juicy my butt is so I just got this package and it's a plant and I didn't order a plant it's a bamboo palm. Oh my god, this is so perfect. I'm just coming at you a couple days later to explain, but somebody gifted me, gifty, gifted me that plant, but this is where I put it for now. I have it just like right here because the dining table is going to be here. I just have to put the glass top on it. I think it looks good here. I need to go get more plants eventually, but that is my last worry right now. I was now. talking to y'all on the spam and I insert the edit that I posted on my story, but I want to get hanging plants and just hang them all over my ceiling and just get more plants in general. Cause if you don't know back in LA, I had pothos like running all over my kitchen and then also all over my mirror and I grew them myself. So I really love plants. So I want to incorporate them in this apartment because I want to do like a very nature -y vibe, but that's what we're gonna do eventually, but just not now. All right, anyways, let's get started on the things that I've already bought. Yesterday, I bought tree stumps for $130. I like was looking for tree stumps and I was like, why are they so expensive online? Like, because I'm used to being in Canada and if you want a tree stump, you just go out and cut it in your backyard, but you can't do that here in New York. What am I supposed to do, go to Central Park? And just, <laughs> no, you can't do that. So I was looking for them, but then magically I came upon it on Facebook Marketplace. Let me show you what I bought. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but we're going for a very like earthy kind of theme. And side tables are, for some reason, $500. I don't know why. So I went digging on Facebook Marketplace and I found three side tables for $130. Now, if you do the math, that comes out to $43 per side table. Don't know if that was actually true, but that's a pretty good freaking steal. I know that some of y'all are gonna hate this, but you know what? I love it. No, because I'm obsessed. Oh, shit. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. Shut the front door. <laughs> Sorry, I just have to interject. Shut the front door. Who am I? Your fucking mom? Shut the front. <laughs> this fits so perfectly. Oh my gosh. Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing right now? Wow, they match so well. And then if I like stagger, this is so good. Oh! Two seconds later. Ew, I don't know why I thought this would be cute. Never mind. For now, I think I'm just gonna do this. Which, like, I don't know if it looks weird as three. It's definitely unique. See, this is supposed to be like a coffee table set where people can sit and, like, 
eat, but I thought it'd be good like this. But I don't know what I should do, but I definitely like the wood, but I just don't know how the placement should be. For now, I'm just gonna leave it like this. We could definitely move it around. So let me know what you think. This is not certain, like, I don't even know what I'm doing, so don't be commenting like, ew, you need to do this. Be nice about it, okay? I'm asking you for a freaking reason. But I'm really glad about that purchase. Oh, these are perfect. I was literally looking for tree stumps. I wanted tree stumps. We are going for very earthy vibes. I don't know if you can tell. But like, not the fake earthy vibes. Like, I actually want it to feel grounded. That's the vibe that I want. Because like, that's why I chose like, kind of like a rough type rug here. It's because like, I don't want to feel like cozy. When I sit on this couch, I don't want to fall asleep. When I sit on this couch, I get my shit done. You know what I mean? Like, during the day, I don't go in my room. I sit here and I have to be productive because like, it's not like I'm going to fall asleep on this couch. You know what I mean? It's fucking patio furniture. Come on, get it together. Yesterday, I set up my books. Insert footage here. It's the fact that I'm literally just like smiling and getting teary-eyed because like this house actually feels like a home already and like I haven't even decorated it or like I'm even close to done but there's just something about this place that actually feels like good to me. Ew! In the moment that was cute but now me watching this I'm like girl stop. <laughs> Why are you crying? And like I didn't realize how different it feels to live in a space that you actually feel comfortable in Like I can't believe I lived in LA in a house that I didn't even feel like safe in if that makes sense But just looking at this right now makes me so happy because it just feels so me I don't know I just like I feel so good being in here in like in my house Which I know you're probably like are you good my but like I haven't felt this in so 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 long. I love the way that this looks. So I know books are not supposed to go in sunlight, but I thought it'd be cute here. This doesn't face any direct light, so it shouldn't be too bad, but wow, I can't wait for my book collection to grow. My mom got me this card like two years when I moved like five hours away from her on my own without anybody. She literally sent this in the mail and I've always just kept it, but I've always just had it in storage because I had nowhere to display it, but I feel like this is just so perfect. And then this is just a postcard that I like. It's from this Studio Gilby set and I just like picked it out because I thought it was super cute. I got this at the Los Angeles Museum and they were having like an exhibit and it has just like all these cards of Studio Gilby things. I have a tattoo of like the soot from Spirited Away because I love Spirited Away. Super cute, but there's just like random shit that I don't need, so. The dilemma is I have a bunch of boxes in this room. So basically I have a bed and like a bed frame and everything for this guest room, but I don't, I can't set it up right now because I have a bunch of random boxes in here, which I need to figure out, but like, I just don't want to figure out. But uh, yeah, this is the situation. Like I actually don't know where to start, but I'm like, I've been living here for a month. I haven't had to touch like any of this stuff. Like, do I really need it? But then I'm like, Oh, that's throwing away so much stuff. That's like the hoarder in me talking though. I'm like, I really don't need any of this. The thing is, I think I need to hire someone to come help me move stuff around my apartment because I want to switch my bedroom up. So basically I want to move my bed facing this way, like switch it so it's on that wall and then this is here. Just because I realized that I want to take pictures with this in the background, you know? And I feel like it makes more sense since this would fit perfectly on this wall. I don't know. Do I even decorate it right now? But I'm like, might as well. Because when am I going to hire somebody? We never know. What the fuck is smoking? <gasps> I just burnt my fake hair. I found so many more things that I need to unbox, but I'm hungry, so we're gonna make food. I would make like a really aesthetic cooking segment right now. Ew, not the fake hair being my food, sorry. I'm just gonna show you the reality of making food most of the time. See, the thing is I don't eat out, which is great and all, but like I just wanna show y'all how to make food real quick and easy so that you don't spend money because I feel like whenever you see bitches make like really nice food online, you're like, ugh, it's too hard, let me just Uber Eats. Um, if you don't like chicken, my bad, don't do this, but I bought chicken tenders, took them out of the pack. We have some oregano already. Oh, shit, that was a little much. And yes, this is a piece of tinfoil. Why? Because I don't want to wash my cutting board. Pepper this shit. Salt. Garlic powder. You could make some rice with this too if you want, but it's just like, I just know that this whole freaking chicken breast is going to fill me up, so we're chilling. Basil. Now that we have this concoction going on, olive oil and a pan, heat that ish up, okay? By the way, I bought this big bag of chicken, like huge, from Costco for only 23 bucks, and this gonna last me a couple weeks like that's really good very cheap so go to your Costco buy chicken tenderloins tenderloins ew not my sweater literally being smothered in chicken the hair and now the sweater Ooh. all right we have like medium heat the oil is smoking just like you baby ew now if you don't have like a fan your fire alarm's probably gonna go off so I don't know what to do about that one 
Boom. Let that it cook. Okay, do you see how there's like white edges developing around the chicken? You can kind of see that it's like kind of getting cooked through. That's how I know that I'm gonna flip it because that's how I know that like the chicken is getting cooked. If you're new to this channel, you're probably so confused. Like, I did not come here for Food Network. If I wanted that, I would have gone to Food Network. On this channel, you learn a lot more than what you come for, okay? I know I said it was a room decorating video or whatever, but if you didn't know, now you know. Like, who doesn't want to learn how to cook? This isn't even like cooking. This is literally like frying chicken. We're gonna leave that for maybe like eight more minutes. I don't want to hear no comments making fun of me for just eating chicken. I seem like the most typical gym bro ever. Be like, Ugh, such a nutritious meal. So before I eat my chicken though, I always make sure to cut it in the middle though. Well, especially if you don't know if your chicken's cooked or not. Like I've just done it enough where I know. Cut it before you take it off the pan. Like just cut it on the pan or do whatever. And just to make sure it's not pink in the middle. It's not pink in the middle. Mmm, nice moist chicken. Moist. Ew, I hate that word. But do you see this? It's so good. The basil always hits so good with a little lemon. This right here was like two dollars. Two and a half dollars for this freaking meal. And it has what, like 35 grams of protein in it and it freaking slaps. I know it's just chicken, but like you could add rice and broccoli if you wanted. That's cheap. Mmm. Hello, hello, hello. It is the next day. Definitely do not have the same energy as I did yesterday. This morning I woke up and I already knew that I wanted to go to run because today I wasn't gonna go to the gym. Just because I only go to the gym like three or four times a week to do weightlifting. So the days that I don't go to the gym, I like to do a little bit of cardio and I just started getting into running. I went on a run this morning and I was like, wow, this weather is like kind of perfect. It's like cold, but it's not too cold to the point where I'm freezing my ass off, but it's cold to the point where my hands are kind of aching if that makes sense and i was like oh my gosh I i'm gonna run 10k today and i ain't never run 10k in my life the longest i've ever ran was 4k which was last week but i was like telling myself i was like oh how good is it gonna feel to say that i can run a 10k and then i just did it and now you're probably like my what the fuck is the point of the story but it's basically saying okay y'all know that i always say that i can't run and that i hate cardio and that i suck at cardio and that i can't do it for the life of me i've been telling myself that my entire life that i cannot run and that i will never get run as high so I never enjoyed running, but about six months ago, when I went on a trip in New York, I went into a runner store and then I just bought running shoes and I didn't run for like four months. But then I just started doing it and I absolutely hated it. But then I told myself, no, like you can like this. And I just basically forced myself to tell myself that like, no, you can like this. And then this morning, I just told myself, oh my God, this is so easy. I kept reminding myself the whole run. It's gonna feel so good once you finish. I would be like, oh, two kilometers, you're almost halfway there. And then I, once I hit the halfway mark, I was like, okay, now you just have to run back. And it's like, once you start going, it's hard to stop. And I just realized how much of a mental thing it was because 19 years of my life, I convinced myself that I fucking hated running. But this morning I went and I just ran a 10K. What the heck? It was all in my head this whole time. I mean, obviously I didn't just like get up and start doing a 10K. I have been like walking on the treadmill for like 30 minutes a couple times a week and stuff like that. So I built my endurance up a little bit, but insane to me. Anyways, I got these bottles. They're like soap bottles from Amazon. I thought I would show you guys what I got from Amazon, by the way. That's what I'm doing. Y'all know the Aesop ones that y'all see in like aesthetic TikTok videos? I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. I'll insert it on screen. Yeah, I love those, right? But then I also realized that they are, what, fucking $60 for a bottle of soap that people are gonna wash down and put into the drain? Like, that's literally money going down the drain. So I was like, oh my God, I love the aesthetic of it. But at the same time, I can't justify spending that much. So I bought these and I'm just gonna fill them up with hand soap. I need to go buy that. stores i went to one called for furnished green and then this asian one so i'm gonna show you guys what i got i wanted to look around i saw so many things that i wanted to buy but then i told myself that if i wanted it then i could come back and get it and i just took pictures of them because i don't want to impulsively just buy a bunch of things and like not like it because i've already talked about it before but i really want this place to be a place that has a lot of meaning to it instead of just like a bunch of meaningless decorations girl you could have chose better words but let me show you guys okay so to decorate these two tree stumps I just put some magazines on top, but I just bought this Himalayan salt lamp for $40 at 
furnished green, which I think is a pretty good price because if you buy Himalayan salt lamps online, they're about the same price and they're not as big, but this one's a huge one. But I have a wire running around. I'll show you guys how I like I organize the couch, but it actually like turns on and you can just like easily just do it from here, which I think is super cool. And I love Himalayan salt lamps because it like cleanses energy or whatever. This is what the couch is looking like. It's messy because I'm doing work right now, but this is the other tree stump. I just put it on this side to even it out and also, I actually use this one a lot like when I'm working I'll put my coffee here But I just have two books on top these coasters is what I got from the Asian store It's like the only thing I bought from there This one's a dragon because my mom's zodiac is a dragon and I also have a dragon on me And then this one I just thought it was really pretty because it was symmetrical But I don't know what it says because I can't read Chinese Let me know what this is if you understand by the way I really like it and we love that I'm not buying a bunch of them because usually I just buy a lot because I anticipate And I'm like oh but like what if I have people over and blah 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 but like, like I've been living on my own for four years now. I think I know that as many times as I can say, oh, when I have people over, I never fucking have people over. And I finally learned my lesson to only buy what I need because I never have people over. So we have two from the Monocle store in LA. But it was a really cool store. <laughs> The monocle book of gentle living. I don't know why but I love wellness books, but I think it's because I really need the help I've been slowly reading through this book and it's basically just like how to appreciate the little things and just super simple things about Life, I don't know. I really like it. It's a coffee table book But it also is something that I genuinely like reading and that I can like get something out of if that makes sense Then I have this one. This is the monocle book of Japan and I have an obsession with Japan for some reason like I want to go to Japan so bad and I just love their culture and their way of living and I'm very inspired by it. So we have this one. I haven't gotten to reading this one yet. Then here we have my amp. This is a Fender amp. I got this for my guitar. It's a really good speaker regardless and you can like plug mics into it. Like this is the best speaker I've ever gotten. It has so many different uses for it and I use it every single day and I love the color and everything. I wanted the wires to be hidden but also I wanted to be able to plug my phone in and everything like that and like plug my laptop in. I put this here. All the wires come out. And then I kind of just like put them through so that it can light up that and then also the amp. I just went out to lunch, but I'm back home now. My freaking washer and dryer, my washer started leaking. Welcome back. Not my washing machine literally flooding. A maintenance guy had to come and figure it out. It was just randomly leaking, but we don't know why. So hopefully that doesn't happen again, but I just ran out of toilet paper. I ran through two rolls in the span of a month. I think that's pretty good. Now I know that I use two rolls of toilet paper a month. Fun fact about me. This is the fit though, outfit of the day. I was wearing boots earlier, but I do not want to wear boots around. This leather jacket, I just thrifted it. I didn't thrift it, but I got it used. It's a Rick Owens like leather jacket. I really love it though, because it's like, Pretty unique and I love the fit. This top underneath is from Victoria's Secret. And then these pants are the Molina Aritzia pants. And then I'm just wearing some Jordans with them. But I'm gonna go to the corner store and go get some toilet paper real quick because... What if I take a shit? Why does somebody not know how to flush a toilet after they've had a shit? Disgusting! Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm good, thanks though. <laughs> I got it, yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy just asked me if I needed help taking the paper towel home. He was joking, but at the same time, I was so uncomfortable. I was like, <laughs> no thanks. Anyways, we're walking home now. Two seconds later. Thank you. Yeah, you as well. What the fuck is in the air? This guy literally just stepped out of his car to give me his card. What the fuck was that? This guy literally just gave me his construction card. Like, Carlos, I'm not interested, but thanks. Hi! Oh, I love my dark people. <laughs> they're so cute. I hope they're watching. Just kidding, I really hope they're not. Hello, hello. Hey, how's everything? How you doing? Terrible. You having a bad day? Today is the worst day ever. Why is it the worst day ever? Because... Talk to me. Um, Talk to me. Express yourself. Yeah, I'm not having a bad day. I'm so I want to wash my sheets every single week because I'm trying not to get acne and I feel like that's a clean girl thing to do. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like I just wash my sheets every week. 
Okay. I kind of want to deep clean. I don't actually want to, but I know that I should. But like, you know what I mean? Like scrub the toilet bowls, clean my fridge out, wipe all that shit down. Because usually I do that once a year when I move out of my house, but I want to try to do it once a week, which is a stretch because doing it once every 54 weeks versus doing it once a week, that's a big difference. We're gonna try. I think I want to do is take all these products out of these cabinets and wipe down the glass. Because I feel like if I don't do this weekly, it's gonna get super dirty and caked up fast. So let's do it. Sunlight that always stays Dinner by the waterway It's that sweet life Raise your crumbs Made some do crack a smile He asked if I could stay a while in that high life. Time to catch a flight, but you can make me go. Unlocking all the memories of my new home. Ventilated echoes playing to and fro. All right, I'm here to update you with a final update of how everything is looking. This is my singing bowl that I put here. I love this mirror. I got this off of Facebook Marketplace for literally like $100. I have my incense here that I burn. Also from the Monocle store, I got these books and it looks like um, like New York subway station or whatever, but it just has all of these different cities and it has a bunch of information on them in each book and like all the most popular spots. I wanna be able to read every single one of them and travel to all of these places. And then I just have some bookends on them. They're, um, I don't know what crystal, but I got them off of Amazon. I'll link them down below. Does it not look cute? Also, just thought I would let you know that I ended up organizing my entire guest room. Well, not actually, but I got rid of most of the things, so let me show you. So we only have a couple boxes left, but everything is organized. Like I know where everything is. And this is what the closet looks like. Satisfied. But in the next couple vlogs, I'm gonna be decorating this guest room, putting the bed frame and the mattress and stuff like that but in. That's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe and comment anything down below because I read every single one of my subscribers' comments. But yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Remember what I mentioned about the cool feet, not the only fake.